Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I'm happy, 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 happy to see you. Wait with me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm, I'm always so happy to share the word of God. Amen. Amen. Because this is my gift and this is my calling. The mama that was leading us, she said, China, put effort in your gift. Amen. Amen. Even the pastor said the same. That if you are a seer, put effort. Amen. Amen. If you are a guitarist, TBD. Put Amen. Amen. If you are an intercessor, Mumbai. Yes. Come and pray to sit for the church. Amen. Amen. Just lift up your hands towards heaven. Tell the Lord, I need you. Tell the Lord, speak for your life. Speak for your marriage. Pray, your pray for yourself. Just pray for your life. Pray for your life. Tell the Lord, I need you. I need you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, I need you. Lord, I need you today. I need you more than yesterday. I need you more than even the last minute, oh Lord, I need you. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, we need you. As a church, we need you, Lord. The Bible says you say that we can do nothing without you, Lord. For sure we can't. Even the words that we speak, we cannot speak without the wisdom. We cannot speak without the guidance. Lord, we need that you use our vocals, our voices, as tools, Lord, to minister, to speak to your own children, Lord. We are here, all of us, to partake from the heavenly table. Lord, forgive us. Just speak to the Lord. Tell the Lord, forgive me. Just tell the Lord, as I come before you, forgive me, wash me, sanctify me, O God, cleanse me, when my dear one and you are the things that you need God to, to wash you, to sanctify you, just speak to the Holy Spirit of God. He knows everything in your life. Just tell him, Lord, forgive me. Wash me, cleanse me today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Wash me, O God. Wash me, cleanse me, Jehovah Master. Even as I stand on the holy altar, Jehovah God. In this altar of God, I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a holy altar of God, an holy altar of God, a, 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 an altar that Jehovah God, you will speak from us, you will feed us, O God. The Bible says you are holy, and the spirit of holiness be in our midst today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just tell the Lord to, to cleanse you, to forgive your family, pray for your family. Obey your family, pray for your family. Tell the Lord to cleanse your family. Cleanse your family, wash your families. In the name of Jesus, cleanse the Lord, cleanse our families today. Pray for your family, raise up your voice. And pray for your family. Pray for your children, pray for your wife. Pray for your husband, pray for them. Tell the Lord that the spirit of holiness come into my family today. The spirit of holiness. The spirit of holiness come. Royal Takatifu, just this of holiness come in the name of Jesus. Libro Santa Cabaya said, Libro Santa Cabaya said, Libro Santa Cabaya said, Just pray, pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord to speak to your life today. Pray to the Lord for a change. In the name of Jesus, let a change come into your life. Let a change come into your destiny today. And there be a change in every aspect of your life. In the name of Jesus, Father, as your word comes into my life today, I open my life for change, O oh God. Let the word change the way I think. Let the word change the way I see things. Let, let the word cause me to mature in Christ Jesus. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pray to the Lord. Amen. I want you what? To cause me to mature in your presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church needs to pray. Amen. The church needs to pray. And we have to pray. Amen. We have a calling to pray. And we have to pray. Growing into maturity. Amen. Yes, so that is the one that we proclaim admonishing and teaching everyone with. I want you to see that word with all wisdom. With all wisdom. With all wisdom. You can teach without wisdom. And the people misunderstand your teaching. Amen. Amen. So as much as we teach the Bible says we teach with all wisdom. wisdom. So that we may present everyone fully mature in the Christ Jesus. Fully mature. Amen. Hallelujah. Fully mature. So the Bible says present. Eh? It, it says um, kumleta. Kumleta is to present. The Bible says to bring. Hallelujah. Present something. Hallelujah. So the Lord Jesus will expect the pastor will expect the pastor to present the church to present to God much people that are mature. We understand. Amen? Amen? So the work of the pastor who is also the teacher God will expect them to present to God that are mature not children that is the expectation of God Amen. Amen that is the will of God to present a child that is mature not a childish kind of child Amen. So can not a child's church. Amen. Amen. And that is what we are going to study today. As we progress to learn more about Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you because of your word. We worship your Lord. Give us every wisdom that we need. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So when the Lord tells us to present to him a mature church. What does he mean? What is, what is the will of God? What is the will of God? Amen. Amen. What is the will of God? What does God require from me? And especially from the men of God who teach the word. So what God does what what does God require from us that teach the word? And what are the qualities that we can say so and so is a mature Christian? Amen. Amen. And what are the qualities 
that we can say so and so is not yet a mature Christian. Those are the things that we need to learn. I imagine the Bible calls those things basic principles. Amen. Those are the things that we should have them as the foundation of a Christian. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we go straight to the book of Hebrews. Chapter number five. And verse number twelve. It's not there. It's not there. Amen. Hebrews. So, the idea today is that we want to learn more about growing into maturity. Because we can be born again by a baby for many years. Amen. Amen. You can be born again Christian. Yani ume okoka. But you are still a baby. In Christianity. And as long as we are a, a child in Christianity, no matter how much you pray and fast, there are things you will never get from God. Amen. When we were coming with the pastor, I was listening when he was speaking. And he said, there are things you will never get just because of prayer. And you can fast. He actually said you can fast until your face turns blue and nothing will change. And as such a mature Christian, he knows exactly what he's talking about. That there are things we cannot pray. We need to learn until you become mature. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All of us, the basic principle that I use every other day. We use every other day. Those are our parents. Those are our parents here. You haven't prayed for your children to become mature. Amen. Naturally, to grow, amomewa tutoe ni wakomai. You give them food and they grow naturally. Am I right? You pray for them. You give them food. If you pray for them, but without giving them food, they will die. Right? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So, it's a, it's a natural principle. Give the children the right food. They will grow. The nature, the way of God, just a moon, has a way to cause them to grow. But one day, you, you will wake up and you will say, My child has grown. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you give them what they need. Amen. But sometimes, even though you give them the right food, they can be sick. You take them to the hospital and then a qualified doctor they will tell you they miss this nutrient. Go and give them this food. When you obey the doctor you give them the right food they, be, they begin to be strong again. Hallelujah. Am I right? Hallelujah. In Christianity. Amen. Amen. In the house of God. We also have the doctors. Who are called pastors. Amen. Amen. We have the evangelists. We have the prophets. Amen. That God has qualified them 
ambao Mungu amewachagua to oversee. Kuangalia wewe. Amen. 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 And by looking at you. Na kukuangalia wewe. They can tell a lot. They can tell a lot. Wanaka kuongea mingi kuhusu wewe. They can say so and so lot a kind of new train is that the system of line of line i said in kama mkristo and they will guide you alafu utakuongoza they will tell you maybe you need to pray more alafu utasema mimi utakwambia labda inabidi uombe you need to fast alafu inabidi ufunge or they will give you guiding and counsel watakuongoza katika safari amen if you obey them ukisikia yale ambao wanakwambia then your life will change alafu maisha yako yatabadilika but if you disobey them alafu ukifanya utakusikia the same way naturally a child can be weak if they don't obey the doctor's report vile vile mtoto anaweza kuwa nyonge nyonge kama asikii daktari as a christian na kama mkristo you will be weak utakuwa vile vile mnyonge amen you will be weak utakuwa mnyonge and then your life will be a life of complaining alafu maisha yako yatakuwa maisha ya complain hallelujah and then you know the enemy will go after the weak one Alafu unajua shetani anapenda wale ambao hawana nguvu. Amen. Even in the field the, the animals the lion will go after the weak one. Hata hata huko Simba anakujia wale ambao hawana nguvu. So the enemy will come after you. Simba atakuja adui atakujia wewe shetani. And you tell not don't go to church. Alafu atakwambia na usiwe kanisani. They don't like you. Au pay you. Amen. Amen. They don't appreciate you. So you will slowly slowly pull you away. Kidogo kidogo ataka kukuvuta. And then he can easily. Alafu atakata kuchukua wote. Take you out. Atakuchukua. And then he takes you to the world. Hakuna kupeleka katika mambo ya dunia. By the time you realize. Wakati ambao utakumbuka. Alisha kutabunga. He has already chewed you up. Atakwasha kumaliza wewe. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That is why it's so important to learn how to grow into maturity. Verse number 12 chapter number 5 uh, the book of Hebrews. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you will need some to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. You have come you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the world of righteousness for he is a baby but solid food belongs to those that are of full age that that is those of the reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil We have a Swahili Bible We can continue If you don't have one you can read it Hebrews chapter 3 12 Tunasoma Kwa maana iwapasapo kuwa waalimu maana wakati mwingi umepita mnahitaji kufundishwa na mtu mafundisho ya kwanza ya maneno ya Mungu nani mmekuwa mnahitaji masiwa wala si chakula kigumu kwa maana kila mtu atumai, atumiai maziwa hajui sana neno la haki kwa kuwa ni mtoto mchanga lakini chakula kigumu ni cha watu wazima ambao akili zao kwa kutumiwa zimezoezwa kupambanua mema na mabaya amen, amen. hallelujah amen. now Here the Bible teaches us about the mature people and those that are not mature. Hapa Biblia inatufundisha wale ambao wamekomaa na wale ambao hawajakomaa. And the Bible says a mature person does not need milk anymore. Biblia inasema yule ambaye amekomaa hahitaji maziwa tena. Amen. As I teach you will know where you are. Na nakwenda kufundisha ukajitoa huko mahali gani? And you will change based on the teaching. Na utabadilika kufuatana na maneno ya Mungu. Amen. Amen. So you will know if you are the one that we should carry that but to know that what we carry for the babies. So utajua kwamba wewe ndio unahitaji maziwa. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Those who have small babies. Wale ambao wana watoto wadogo. Umebeba maziwa? Yes. You have the milk. Yes. So today we will know those that we have, we have carried some milk for them. Let us know wale ambao wanahitaji maziwa. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
Because the Bible says, um, um, verse 12. Um, for though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again. When you need somebody to be repeating to you again. Amen. Amen. When you need somebody to repeat the teachings. The same things. The pastor is repeating to you. Every other day. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't you do this. Don't you do this. In the kingdom of God. You can be carried. By still your baby. The pastor is giving you the milk. To sustain. Amen. Amen. Pastor cannot give you the solid food. Because the Bible says you need again. You need to be repeated. Hallelujah. Amen. So if the pastor keeps on repeating, if Amen. the pastor keeps on repeating, Amen. the same teachings, Amen. the same things, Amen. then it means you are still a baby. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, um, thank you Lord. It says you need to be taught the first principles Biblia, of the word of God. And you have come to need of milk. You still need milk. As a baby. And according to the, to the kingdom of God. You are like those babies there. Am I, are, are we together church? Are we together church? This is the reality of the word of God. This is the truth according to the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the God's sight. For much you In God's sight. You're still a baby. And no matter how much you pray. You can fast. You can cry. You can do whatever you want. God will not allow the blessing to come. He can't. Amen. Amen. He knows better than you. Amen. Amen. Now, the parents that have the small kids. When they cry and they cry and they cry, what do you do? You always think they need some milk. And you give them. And, and you tell them, don't cry. Don't cry. Take some milk. Amen. Amen. There are people God will always tell them, don't cry. I love you so much. You are my daughter. You are my son. But don't cry. You need milk. Continue drinking. And maybe you are there complaining to God. Oh God. I've been praying for this thing. This is five years. This is ten years. And God is telling you. If you could be, if you are listening to your pastor. You would have qualified for what you're asking. But because you are not listening, you have to repeat the same class. The same class until you pass. Then I will give you. Amen. Amen. So in the kingdom of God there is a repetition. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No, ma no matter how much you cry to your teacher, to your lecturer, if you are not qualified in the final exam, they will not give you the certificate. Amen. Amen. Away to the church. Yeah. These are the things that will make you go to the next level. 
That prayer cannot take you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many times do you pray and tell the Lord, Oh God, change me. But God is telling you, study the word to change you. Hallelujah. Amen. God is telling you, learn. Sit down. Sit down. And learn. Learn. Learn to see that so you can be taught. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Most of you, you are paying a lot of college money to study, right? You have a lot of loans to pay. Was education for free? No. You, you sit down and also you pay for the money. Yeah? yeah? Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, you pay for it. There's a, a price to pay. There's a price you have to pay. A sacrifice. You go to school when you want and when you don't want. Am I right? Yes. yes. Because you know it will help you. There's a great future for you. In those are the things of this life. What about the things of the kingdom of the heaven? Amen. Amen. You know, the Lord told Eli in the book of First Samuel. Eli was not careful. Eli was not careful. Aquaman, Eli, Aquaman, my king. Eli was not careful to teach his children. So they, they were doing anything they want. So they used to despise God. So Then the Lord came to Eli. And he told Eli, It was my choice. That your family will be the, in the lineage of priesthood forever. Forever. Because that was a special thing before God. Hallelujah. Amen. To be a priest was a great honor before God. Therefore, Eli was given that honor by God. But it was his responsibility to teach the church. Then he was not teaching his own children. So they used to come and take the offering. Eat the, the most fat place, the fat, the fat meat. Then God came to him. And he told him. It was my choice that you be a priest forever. But because you despised me, I'll also despise you. You, you, you understand? Because you did what? You despised me. You yes. understand? You understand? Because you despised me, I will despise you. That is what God says to Eli. Amen. Amen. Imagine God giving you a gift in the church. And yet, God will expect that gift to grow into maturity. But you take it as nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. One day God will come to you. I will tell you because you despise me. I will also despise you. And if this gift was supposed to be a blessing to you, I will take it and then give it to another person. Hallelujah. Amen. So in the days of Eli, God took the priesthood. He took it and he gave it to someone. 
Samuel. And then Samuel became a priest and a prophet. Today, everybody mentions about Samuel. We say the God of Samuel. But not many people remember Eli. But what when you are Mungu Eli? Hallelujah. Growing into maturity. Growing into maturity. Never take that for granted. Hallelujah. God wants you to grow. When every day the pastor is telling you, come and let's meet. Let's, let's meet. Let's meet. Let's pray. Hallelujah. For the babies is okay. You know? For the babies is okay. Yeah? You know, for the babies when, uh, when they are born again, they are still babies. When they are born again. You are still a baby. So you need God to, you need a pastor to be telling you, come. To call you on the phone. Ah, he's giving you milk. He's calling me to help you. He's calling me to help you. Let me give you some. Come to church. There's milk. And then he's feeding you. Huh? Because he's still a baby. But five years down the line, you don't need a call again. You need to march forward. It's time for church. Hallelujah. If they do not remind you to go to work, you don't need to be reminded in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is helping us to be mature. Is a happiness. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. So, who, are, who, who needs milk? In the church. Amen. Amen. Who needs milk? In the house of God. Amen. And the Bible says the solid food. Verse number, um, thank you, Lord. Verse number 14. Uh, uh, it's not that. It says, 13 says, For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the world of righteousness. He's a baby. Let's read verse number 13 in Swahili. Hallelujah. Anyone. Anyone. Amen. You are here, you can be anyone. Amen. Is anyone. As long as you need milk, you do not understand the Bible. That's what the Bible says. You are unskilled. Amen. Amen. You are unexperienced. How do you experience? Amen. Thank you, sister. You are unexperienced. How do you Amen. When all of you go to work, the most experienced person is paid higher. Zaidi. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. So in the word of God, you can be an experience. You haven't put the word of God to work. How did you know that you can get cars? So you are an experienced person. So how are you experienced? So what will God do? The mumu to find you. Amen. Amen. I want to to show you why some of your prayers are not answered. Taka kuonesha kwa nini maombi fulani ambayo naomba hayajibi. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why some of our prayers are not answered? God is not as a hard to bless people as many people think. But I've always asked this question many times. Men of you, your parents, if your child is five years, because whatever belongs to the father belongs to the child. Automatically. Right? 
But that child can cry for the whole day. Will you kill her? You can't. Why? If you being the human being, you understand that. Then it is not right to do that. What about your heavenly father? What about your heavenly father? He knows more what you need. In every stage of life. So it is not upon God. It is not unto God. It is up to you. Grow. Hallelujah. Amen. Say I want to grow. I want to grow. In the word of God. Though now I will just um, share a few things. So understand what it means to be a baby. The qualities of a baby in Christ. The qualities of a baby in Christ. You can see and say, ah, okay. <laughs> Leave them. Amen. Amen. If a child begins to play here, nobody cares. But I see when you are 15, 16 and you start playing here. Mm -hmm. All of us will stop everything. <laughs> and they begin to ask, is everything okay? Am I right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now the qualities of a baby. In Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah, sometimes we take an offering. Anyway. <laughs> the qualities of a baby in Christ. Number one, unforgiveness. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Your baby. Amen. Amen. In Christ. Forgiveness is free. Am I right? Church. The church of Christ. Hallelujah. Watch it to Amke, watch it to Amke, watch it to watch it Are we together? Hallelujah. Number one is what? Unforgiveness. Eh, I'll be funny as. Oh, so so this. So so forth. Hey, now we are And you said yes. Eh? Yeah. He or she did this. I hear her with passion. I hear her with passion. She has And you're born again. I don't know. Hey. She told me to skip on Hey, now we're born again. I'm going He's born again. Anyway. Unforgiveness. Qualities of a baby in Christ. And if you have unforgiveness, you can pray and roll if you want. You can fast 90 days. More than Jesus. You can fast more than Jesus. Hallelujah. But nothing will happen. You are baby. Amen. Amen. Mature people Amen. forgive us. Amen. So is it. Amen. Amen. I'm teaching you the things that will help you mature in Christ. Forgiveness is free. Bure. It's free. Hallelujah. Amen. It's free. Forgive them. Amen. Amen. It's free. Say it's free. It's free. I forgive. For free. Amen. Amen. Number two. They have bitterness. Bitterness. They may not say anything. They may not say anything. But there is bitterness. They will smile at you. But it's a plastic smile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you pass by your beside you, Hallelujah. This is this is a serious. 
Amen. 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 The sister loves you so. <laughs> <laughs> but in the heart, <laughs> full of it. Chum. Chum. Yeah? That is not a Christian. A Christian. Your heart is the temple of God. It's holy. Those things are not part of you. Amen. And by that, let's go to the Bible now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We'll finish next Sunday, God willing. Amen. Amen. Uh, but it's good to read just one scripture in the book of um, Ephesians. Chapter number 11. I'm um, chapter 4, verse 11. All right. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of, this, of, of, of the sins for the work of the ministry. For the defining of the God of Christ, till we all come uh, to the same unity of the faith and acknowledge the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. 14. I want us to read verse 14. Is there? Uh, 14. I want to read verse 14. to see what in our total wachanga to keep. Tupwa, huku na huku, na kuchukuliwa na kila upepo wa elimu kwa hila ya watu, kwa ujanja, kutukizifuata njia za udanganyifu. Amen. Amen for 15. Kumina tano nasema, lakini tusishike kwe, tuishike kwe ni katika upendo na kukua hata tufikie yeye katika yote. Yeye Christo. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, and then we read verse number 31. Same chapter. Amen. That's true. Tena iwe wafadhili nini kwa nini? Wenye huruma, mkasameane kama na mungu katika kristo alivyo wasamehe nini. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because of time, I will come to teach chapter number four. Next time, so that we may all discuss. If you go home, just read chapter four. Of the book of Ephesians. Very instructive. It's very teaching. It, it shows us a lot of things. How to grow in Christ. Hallelujah. It says, um, uh, just to, 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 to say a few things here. Um, Verse number 15, 14, it says, Thank you, Holy Spirit. That we, we should be no longer children tossed to and fro. Amen. Amen. When we are taught the word of God, the Bible says we are taught so that we should no longer be children. Toast to and fro. Oh no? Let me show you what that one means. You see when uh, a sheep is in the waters. When there's a lot of wind. A wind. It is tossed. What? You know? It is tossed here and there. It is not stable. Amen? So the Bible says when we are taught the word of God and we grow. Then we are not tossed to and fro. No, when the wind comes, we are stable. Amen. Amen. That is what God is looking for every Christian. You are stable. You are strong. Nothing moves you. 
You have the stability of Christ in you. When the enemy comes, no matter the strength, he cannot push you. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that we are no longer tossed to and fro like children. When you see people that are tossed here and there, they say, Oh, the, the, the thing that Pastor that preached didn't like it. So I go to the church. There is a baby. It's a baby. It's tossed to and fro. It's not stable. Hallelujah. Mature people take instruction. They take instruction. They know I'm not strong enough. I need to be made strong. By eating solid food. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, next time, uh, as the last one, it says, you read that verse number 31. It says, um, 31, thank you, Lord. Uh, 31 said, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking get away from you. Amen. Amen. Evil speaking. You are still a baby. Eh? You say, uh, no, 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 mama, no, no, no. When you see somebody like, oh, you see so and so, that lady, me, I don't like her. Oh, dad. So and so, that lady. I just don't like her. You see so and so, the brother. I go class, yeah. He's not my class. You still a baby. You still a child. You still a baby. So the Bible says, let all evil speak. All manner of evil speaking. Go away. Amen. Yes. Say, go away. Oh, I'm a child of God. That is not my part. My mouth will not speak evil. Amen. Amen. Can you purpose that in your life? Can you purpose that in your life? Do you want that in your life? That you'll take away all manner of bitterness and forgiveness, evil speaking, corrupt mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says, take those big things away. From your life. Amen. All of us who have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I want us to stand before the Lord as we pray. Hallelujah. As you sing this song that says, I kick away my hands of the Hallelujah. And lift up your hand for two minutes. Thank you, Lord. Tell the Lord I'm growing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God.